Now, here's your pinpoint weather forecast with meteorologist Henry Groff. Well, it has been a nice sunny morning across the middle Ohio Valley, but as you can notice right behind me, some high level clouds starting to mix in. So our afternoon more cloudy and that is out ahead of that snow moving in this evening. So heading out the door for the afternoon, not expecting any issues whatsoever, but not going to get to enjoy as much sunshine as this morning, meaning it's also going to be a little chilly out there right now. Jane Dill Sky Camp showing us 39 degrees, but at least the winds are nice and quiet. So that feel like temperature not really impacting that at all. But yeah, as you can see a satellite view right now. High level clouds starting to mix in to the middle Ohio Valley out ahead of this snow, which so far staying north of I-70 at the moment. But that's just the beginning. There is plenty more out into Illinois, Missouri and Indiana right now, all associated with this system that's going to be quickly moving towards the mid Atlantic overnight tonight. So winter weather advisory, seeing some counties off to our west get extended as more snow starts to build up for us. That goes into effect around 7 p.m. this evening all the way up until 4 a.m overnight tonight. So not going to be much of a problem for our Saturday. It's going to be that evening commute. So we'll time that out for you this afternoon. More cloud cover builds in. We'll see those temperatures back into the lower 40 so far, keeping that snow off towards the northwest. And then by around five o'clock, still not an issue. I know most people probably heading home after. Well, it is Friday best way to do it is to leave a little bit early today. Then seven o'clock, we start to see those snow showers moving in. At first, we are not expecting the snow to stick to the ground since today temperatures above the freezing mark. However, by the time we get into the eight, nine o'clock hour with some more moderate snow pushing through ground temperatures, road surfaces start to drop below the freezing mark as more snow falls and melts on it then we'll start to see it stick to the road. So if you're traveling overnight tonight, going to have to be careful traveling. Now, after midnight tonight, that snow starts to move out. Mainly one o'clock, two o'clock should be perfectly clear. And then Saturday morning, waking up stuck with that cloud cover, a few flurries dropping by, but the rest of the day, not expecting it to be too bad. We'll still see some passing by flurries and temperatures hovering around the freezing mark and then getting better going into Sunday. So overall snow totals expected anywhere between one to three inches with some heavier banding up to four inches of snow, but we'll start to know better where those places they'll see up to four inches of snow start to set up once that snow moves in, but we'll get a nice amount going overnight tonight as we drop down to around 25 degrees tomorrow. Looking at a high of 33, partly cloudy, a few passing flurries from time to time. We'll get above the freezing mark going into Sunday, looking at those mid 40s, then plenty of sunshine for President's Day. All of that snow should be gone by then and then feeling like spring for Wednesday before the next chance of rain arrives on Thursday. So a weird swing of seasons for us LV winter tonight, spring again next week likes to keep us on its toes. Always uh, keeping us on. on our toes. Just reminding us that it's February. Winter's not gone just yet. Yeah, it likes to keep reminding us that it's not March. <laughs> it's not April. It's February and it can be unruly mm -hmm. at times, but it's an adventure nonetheless. Well, coming up 